Well, it's a foggy night on tap here across the area. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Do take it slow out there as we go tonight because fog is literally rolling in from the ocean inland as we go overnight. And that's going to continue right through our Wednesday morning as well. Here you see 5 a.m. visibility at a half mile just about everywhere. Doesn't fully burn off until 10 or 11 o'clock this morning here. And then we start to just see a cloudy, gloomy day for much of the day. We'll talk about that in a little bit. This kind of fog is called advection fog. This is the kind of fog you see in San Francisco or Los Angeles. It's when you get cooler land and a warm, moist air mass going over it. In this case, it's southeasterly winds from the Atlantic Ocean pulling in that warm, juicy air over the relatively cool New Jersey landmass here. And it condenses, that air condenses to form clouds and essentially fog as fog or clouds along the surface. Here's a look at your future cast as we go into your Tuesday night. A couple of rain showers around, but I think by and large, it's just fog and mist and some drizzle across the area as opposed to that actual rainfall it does accumulate. Drizzle is non-accumulating precipitation. We go into our Wednesday here. This is 2 p.m. We are still seeing that cloudy sky, but some breaks will come as we go deeper into the day. And by sunset, there can be places like Bridgeton, like Millville, like Vineland that see a little bit of a sunset there with that sun shining. Conditions clear out overnight, and for Tuesday, it's a mostly sunny day across the area, and a very good one at that. I think it's going to be our most comfortable day of the week. Here we're going to look at our rainfall totals, a few hundredths of an inch everywhere. Not much to write home about. Essentially, it's dry over the next 24 hours here. Then when we go into the weekend, we're also going to be dry. High pressures in store, plenty of sunshine from Friday right through Sunday here. But here's the thing. Winds around that clockwise spinning high pressure system will be from the east and the north and east. And it's not like the winds are going to be all that strong, but the fetch or how far those easterly winds are blowing is very big here. We're talking about 1,100 miles of an easterly wind pushing ashore. That's going to cause some tidal flooding as we go into the weekend here, starting on Friday and going all the way through Monday here across the area. So we'll talk about uh, just how much we're going to see with that tidal flooding as we go deeper into the week. My Thought is right now it's going to be just minor flood stage or that nuisance kind of flooding. For tonight, it's a mild night. It's a balmy night here for late October. Lows only in the upper 50s. We're just shy of record values for record maximum low temperatures here. We go into Wednesday morning. It's going to be foggy here across the area. And this IBM Max graphic system, they love their fog here. I mean, look at how thick that is for the bus stop forecast. I don't think it's going to be that thick along the shore or inland, but there will be fog to talk about as we go into Wednesday morning here. Wednesday is actually a warm day here. In places like Hamilton, you could be 73 degrees here. The shore a little bit cooler, but still both of these above average for this time of the year. And it's going to be a little bit muggy out there. Two points, a measure of moisture in the air in the upper 60s. That's noticeable for any time of the year, let alone late October. As we go into our Wednesday morning, a few spots will see some tidal flooding. Those areas in green partially undermerged or submerged with water here. So Congress Street, Windsor Avenue, getting over to Sunset Boulevard. You can all see a little bit of water during the morning hours on Wednesday here. Don't drive through that flooded water. Wednesday night, not as mild, but still above average for this time of the year by about 10 degrees or so with a clearing sky. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast for you. Thursday, 68, mostly sunny. That is my pick of the week. Friday, breezy and bright here. Temperatures cooler, and we'll stay seasonable as we go into the weekend here. Taking a look at the shore, we do have that tidal flooding possible beginning on Friday here, and that goes all the way until Halloween on Monday. And as far as the Halloween forecast itself, right now we're going likely dry here we'll need a little maybe magic fairy dust sprinkled over us to keep us dry but i'm going to stay optimistically dry for now we'll update you on that as we go forward throughout the week here just want to talk about sandy as well it is our sandy 10 year anniversary and we are showing you memories thoughts and stories all about the storm here this is where it was on november excuse me october 25th on thursday it was in Bermuda, and New Jersey was in the forecast cone. One thing, too, if this storm was to happen this year with the exact same track, we're seeing that yellow line here by New Jersey. That would be the width of the forecast cone. The forecast cone has shrunk by about 30% in just 10 years. So really great work by the weather community, making sure our accuracy keeps increasing with our forecast.